Is blurry vision from adrenal fatigue? Very common question that I get that I find a lot of people want to have the answers to. So if you're under stress, uh, you don't handle it the same way that you used to, you get overwhelmed, you get panicky, you get fatigued, you crash in the middle of the day, you forget things. When a stressor happens, it makes you feel overwhelmed. Along with those things are the fact that you have blurry vision. It's hard to focus on things. What's the relationship? My name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I am the Stress Recovery Ninja, and today I want to talk to you about how blurry vision has to do with stress and the impact of adrenal fatigue. So adrenals, they don't typically get completely exhausted where they can't mount a response. However, what happens is the brain, the pituitary, the adrenal axis does have a feedback inhibition, which means over time it starts to wind down. And on top of that, you have a body's compensatory, uh, compensatory uh, um, uh, change in terms of uh, nutrients don't get into the cell very well, more proteins bind so that they, there's not a free fraction, they don't eliminate from the, the body very well, they have a microbiome disturbance, blood sugar is not keeping stable, nutrient status is imbalanced, and all of that's gonna impact your, your ability to um, produce micronutrients that will help with visual components. So number one, the first thing that I would say is, yes, it absolutely does. Stress has an impact. Think about adrenals as they are your mineral corticoids and they're your glucocorticoids. What does that mean in English? It means that they balance your minerals. So they're kind of like the bank teller of your body. When your body wants to take a deposit out, the adrenals signal that so that your body can use those minerals to drive mitochondrial or energy production, demand and supply. So let's say you have to balance the books, you have to get the kids fed, you have to have energy to fall asleep, energy to digest your food, energy to, to make brain processes happen, energy to be able to focus and concentrate, energy to deal with stress and those require minerals. There's a genetic component. A couple of genes that we look at is not just MTHFR, but we look at KEEP1. KEEP1 is sort of the sprinkler systems to the inflammation system, to the, to the inflammatory response. If that gene isn't working properly, you're not gonna mount an appropriate um, free radical quenching. And as a result, those free radicals can build up and they can impact the small vessels of the eyes, making them blurry. Another one is BCMO. That's our ability to convert vitamin uh, beta carotene into vitamin A. So if you don't have the enzyme that does that, that's vitamin A is key for our, our ability of the apparatus in the eye to focus. Other enzymes could be SOD or glutathione synthase um, or reductase, the things that recycle your glutathione, catalase, stuff like that. Number two is nutritional status. How good are we eating? Are we eating foods that are dense with nutrients from the soils? Unfortunately, in today's day and age, there's not a lot of nutrients that are um, in the soils and we're devoid of a lot of good, healthy minerals and vitamins. And aside from that, we're not always eating good quality food anyways. Number three is stress. Stress is gonna impact the adrenals, the adrenals being the mineral corticoids, and that's gonna impact your ability to retain and absorb water. As you know, when you're stressed out, you tend to urinate quite often, and a lot of that helps um, or increases the depletion of your minerals. Number, number four is blood sugar. We all know of diabetic neuropathies when there's a lot of glucose in the blood and high circulating insulin levels, the micro vessels, they don't get a lot of circulation and that leads to blindness. So there's definitely a relationship there. And then lastly, your immune health. If your immune system's challenged and there's infections and there is cytokines and there's chemical messengers circulating through the blood, it's gonna orchestrate the entire um, symphony that we just talked about. So absolutely indirectly, adrenals under stress do impact your ability to see clearly based on some genetic stuff, based on nutritional status, based on how stressed you are, based on how well your blood sugars become stabilized and your immune system. Hopefully that's really helpful for you. Make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel or you check me out at uh, the, uh, the truthaboutadrenalfatigue.com or come check out my private Facebook group called Dr. Joel Rosen's Truth About Adrenal Fatigue. I look forward to ending your adrenal fatigue nightmare. Thank you so much.